In this video, we will learn how to create a process control chart using Excel sheet. We have a case study where we will analyze customer waiting time at a restaurant with 30 sample data collected over an entire week. So we have to create a sample of 30 data. This will be collected at a restaurant where 30 different uh, time of waiting has been recorded. And then by using Excel sheet functions, we will be calculating mean of these 30 waiting times then we will calculate upper control limit and finally we will calculate lower control limits and eventually the graph is going to look like this so in this graph you have all the control limits you have the center line or the mean and you have the customer waiting times plotted here you can see in the blue line so stay tuned to this video because using an excel sheet i'm going to teach you how you can create a process control chart in few easy steps first thing what we have to do is to take some sample data so here what i'm going to do i'm going to take sample of 30 customer waiting times so here in the first column i'm going to take num numbers of the sample so it is like one two three and it should be till 30 so here i have one two thirty sample data then in the second column i will take the waiting time this will be a uh, waiting time what a customer spends at a restaurant so the waiting time can be in minutes so i'll take around four minutes five minutes something like that so average waiting time will we, we will calculate uh, on the basis of these numbers so five and five and for one data let me take more number so something like 10 i will take here so you can see here basically everything looks similar around five four six uh, one is we have seven over here but one looks little bit higher it's like 10 so now let's um, do the average of these numbers so you have in excel you have uh, av taking average function so let me just check where you can take this average it should be in formulas and then here average so average is 5.3333 so i will just write a section here saying mean and then i will paste this number in all the columns over here so the mean i have taken it here i'm doing this column um, just for making the process control chart so next thing we have, what we are going to calculate is the standard deviation so standard deviation uh, is required here to calculate upper control limit and lower control limit I'll just write it over here and the last one is lower control limit basically we need these three things first is center line or mean we just calculated it uh, a center line is the horizontal reference line on a control chart that is average value of the charted quality characteristics means the 30 samples that you have the value of those samples you have added and then divided it by 30 so this way you get the center line or mean of the values the second thing is upper control limit so any value above upper control limit is said to be out of control next is lower control limit any value beyond or below the lower control limit is also out of control value so upper control limit is calculated by mean plus 3 sigma and lower control limit is calculated by mean minus 3 sigma so we can go in formulas and in formulas you have function over here so just go and do insert function and in insert function you look for standard deviation method so here you have stdev just click on that and insert function and then here you can calculate you can just copy or you can just select all the waiting times over here so number from four till last column i have selected and then i'll do done so this way i get a standard deviation and that is 1.4463 so by using standard deviation i can calculate upper control limit and then lower control limit so the formula is just uh, i'll write it over here it's mean plus three into standard deviation so this is how you calculate upper control limit lower control limit is mean and instead of plus you give here minus mean minus 3 into standard deviation 
So this is how we are going to calculate upper control limit and lower control limit over here. So let me just open my calculator and we can just calculate quickly over here. So 3 into standard deviation is 3 into 1.446 three five let's just write till here it's fine five decimal digits is okay so it is four point three three nine zero five so standard deviation is four point three three nine zero five four point three three nine zero five next we are going to calculate the upper control limit this value so it's four point three three nine zero five plus mean mean is five point three 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 five point three 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 till five decimal digits i have taken so it's going to be nine point six seven two three eight so nine point six seven two three eight we got our upper control limit that is this value now the lower control limit so it's going to be three into standard deviation that is this value and we subtract it from the mean so mean is five point three 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 minus this value this is the value of 3 into standard deviation so minus 4.33905 so this is how you get the lower control limit so we can add this lower control limit into this section so 0 0.99428 is going to be our lower control limit okay this way we have got our values okay and you can add same value in the all the rows till here similarly you can add upper control limit in all the rows till here we do not need standard deviation anymore so i'm just going to remove this column so let me just remove all these numbers here we don't need it anymore so you have upper control limit lower control limit mean and sample data just let me format it a bit so that it's easier for us to see and just okay so instead of 9.67238 i have copied the wrong value so this was our control upper control limit that we calculated so this is the same value i need to copy throughout over in this column so let me just correct that value yeah now the upper control limit is same throughout my column right so now it's correct so i just need the chart for my waiting time my upper control limit and my lower control limit and of course my mean so i'm going to select these four columns go to insert again and select my line chart so now you have a proper control chart over here i'll just extend extend this so that everybody can see i think it should be pretty visible now i have waiting time over here in the blue legend you can see the waiting time is all the blue lines the mean is the center line this is the center line of my chart and it is also called mean or center line you can tell it then the gray one is upper control limit and the yellow one is lower control limit uh, now what i can do i can just label these data so for labeling you can do just click on this line right click and then use add data label and here you can just click on this data label this is the value that you have in the excel sheet you can see 5.33 it's same like this so just click it click on it again and make it cl or mean cl is center line of my chart so i'll just write cl and enter over here so this is cl now now i will change my upper control limit in the same way click on this line click on the last dot that you have here then right click on this dot and add data label so this is my upper control line so i will just write here ucl okay same way i'm going to change this one right click right click add data label make it lcl or lower control limit so i have ucl cl and lcl upper control limit lower control limit and center line or mean so now you see this blue line represents the data of the waiting time here so every data is inside ucl and lcl but there is one point that is outside ucl this point this is which value this is you can see number 10 so number 10 is outside my control line 
this value is 10 numbered you can see in the chart here there is one single value that represents out of control so this particular value is going out of control in my process control chart and hence i can say that this control chart is out of control or this process is out of control so guys this is how you can predict a process is in control or out of control using a process control chart this is the most simple charts that quality engineers use in their projects and this predicts you a process is in control or how it will go out of control pretty soon is it going to be in control or is it going to be out of control these all values can be predicted using using a process control chart thank you i hope you liked the video and let me know if what do you think about this video like share and subscribe guys thank you so much see you